I, I hate the word culture now. I really do. I really hate it. Culture. Nah, that's real. Shut the fuck up. The culture, the culture, the culture. Shut up, man. <laughs> like, what does that word even mean? <laughs> I heard the what's the dirt. Right, I was like, like, go read that not... I don't even know the full like, situation. Man. I don't even know the full. Like, but, but, but what I do know is a lot of niggas are fucking mad at a white boy for breaking down the Drake song. What y'all ain't have a problem with him? Said. What y'all ain't have a problem with him when he was doing it to Kendrick? What? They got mad at him for going off on the, the company, man. man the one that used to be on Hip Hop DX. I'm just saying, though. <laughs> the culture. I watched, like, the first th 30 seconds of the video and cut it off. I forgot what he said that made me mad. That company, man. <laughs> Go, have, you, have you heard of... Uh, watch him. Cause, cause heard cause, because, because, because what niggas are doing now, bro. They, it's like anything somebody do about Drake, if if it's, if, let's just say if it's something positive or whatever, like what he did, what he mm -hmm. did when he broke down Family Matters. No, bro, that ain't right. See, you got to understand the culture. What are you talking about? <laughs> the fuck is y'all, this, this shit is literally, yeah, of course God do it, bro. Shit, what I'm are you talking song. about? See, you got to understand like, the culture, bro. Like, see, Drake is not the culture. And what you're doing is that you're putting this guy up this. What? The fuck Yo, is Gully. Yo, Gully. Yo, Gully. What, Yo, Gully. Yo, Gully. Yeah. Yo, Gully. Yo, yo, can I talk, y'all? Yes, can you hear me? What culture, did they, what culture do they mean by that? I don't know what the fuck. That's exactly, what I, was say, that's exactly what I was saying because everybody. White people? No, I don't. No, that's what I was saying because everybody. That's a that's the thing about it with the concept of of ideas because I have to remind people that when you uh have something that is not specifically defined, it is then referred to as an idea, and from person to person, ideas can be malleable. So, what distinctly do you mean by what is hip hop or what is rap or what is that? And, and the it, it, they, they, they can't they just can't explicitly define it. So it's like. Oh well, watch this video about what KRS says about it, or watch this video about like what this nigga say about what it is. I'm the like, no, I'm gonna survive. The first that's thing what I'm, I'm saying, like, what's like, what do you mean? What is explicitly defined when you say, oh, this is the culture of hip hop, but this is hip hop or whatever? Black what culture? do you because, mean? Because because if y'all are saying because if y'all niggas are saying Drake is not the culture, you're stupid. He is. Like, Tussie, you're dumb. Tussie, for example, is literally hip hop. Like, Tussie listen, Slide is dancing, right? This, this is a rap beef. Yeah, this is a rap is. beef. Whoever you thought won, that should just be where it's at. What the f? If, 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 that's why, all, that's why since, the, since the beginning, when I said Drake won, it's a problem if you think Drake won. What's the problem? Literally. He a pedophile. Uh, he not the coach. Yo, yo, you know what people he, he, say? If you like, say Drake won, you know, yo, Gully, let me tell you what people say. Why are you defending a pedophile for, bro? Why y'all, bro? I ain't bringing politics in here. That has nothing to do with anything. I ain't finna do it. But see, that's the thing. I don't like the holier than thou shit, bro. I, I hate, and that's what, and that's what these niggas are. That's what they own. It's like some holier than thou shit. They're all involved in the same wicked industry. All of them, even Kendrick Lamar. Exactly. Yeah. If like, because because basically what happened? What they also did to, fun fact. Cause Cause Billy, hold on. Because basically, Billy, did you know? Because basically, what they did to the white boy. He, he, he made the video, niggas ain't like it because he was basically speaking on Drake in a positive light. Like, this is what he, this is, you know, this, breaking down the diss track. This is what he meant. They, they, like, crucified this motherfucker. That's all I've been seeing. I'm like, so you, so you, so you that in your feelings about somebody having a difference of opinion. Drake yeah, really, Drake working. really got a chokehold on a lot of. I don't, and I don't get it. Jealousy. Talking about jealousy. Some of the culture. You know what? Are you, what are you talking about? The culture, jealousy, man. man. See, oh. see, 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 look, man. See what the culture. You see, I don't even. I don't even. I'll be cutting these niggas off instantly. <laughs> they be saying they they be saying dumb shit in the first ten seconds of the video. I cut it off. I forgot what the boy of, said. I was like, bro, you got to Yo, Gully, did you know? Yo, you know when you say about the industry, did you know that Kendrick and Drake are signed the same label, on, um, man. Universal Music? Hey, They're you know the same. And then, yeah, look, you and look, 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 Kendrick' new song is talking about resetting the culture, right? 
in order the to white culture. This is what I'm saying. Like he, I, I guess he. You don't never know what the f- this is talking about. This is this is why. This is like, like, so you gotta analyze talking about it. Watch the party, but like it's not party music. Analyze, Hip-hop is a part of me. Exactly, yeah. dumbass motherfuckers. That's saying. what it is. But look. I know look. what it means by like saying people pop and perk and stuff like that, but well, yeah, listen still, to this. Though. Listen to this. In order to reset the culture, guess where you got to start first? Start as a party. Hmm? No, you have party to the, no, you have to reset the community. No, I'm talking about just rap. I'm talking about I, I, ain't, oh, I ain't even going parties. that deep. I ain't even going that deep. Party. When it, oh, okay. when, the, the stuff that he the stuff that, the stuff that he just that. said, the stuff that he just referred to, drugs, shit that ain't even about. Where do you gotta start? Where you where do kids you gotta start? I was thinking the history. The he history gotta start with Dr. Dre, man. <laughs> Do y'all, did y'all, one did one y'all one forget day. about the chronic? What was that? Have you, have you guys seen that one Dr. Dre interview? He oh, literally wow. says, I'm not, I don't care. I just do it for the money. He doesn't care about, like, you know, negativity. And he, Bro. He, like, literally straight up said that in an interview. Yeah, but what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is, reset the culture. Everything derives from something. The type of negativity yep. and rap that people think just came out of, it didn't come out of nowhere. It came out in the 80s. Yes. The Chronic, NWA second album was just straight nigga shit. Even the first I love that one, album, but it's too far. Straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton was like a, it was it was it was more like political type. You know but what I'm saying? Like anti. Gangster, listen to gangster, gangster. But see, just see, like one less off the second album, one less. That's the reason. Crazy. The reason. The reason why. The, hold on. The, re- the reason why. Damn, I can't see my comment section. Hold on. But the reason why I say the second album was because it was the second album was just strictly shit. There was nothing. They was were just disrespecting shit. women left and right. This is what I'm saying. They so, talk about a 14 year old getting suck, sucking. Uh, the the, the preacher's daughter in the car. Yeah, 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 that was on the song. Uh, she swallowed it. So basically, my point yeah. is because I see a lot of people talking about some drill music and where do all that shit come from? Lux. I feel Easy like in order to fix the problem, you got to go to the root of it. All of these, all of these people that you look up to succeeded by the dis- by disrespecting. Talk, b- 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 disrespecting and and highlighting the destruction of our community. All of the people that he's inspired by, Dr. Dre, Tupac. People love Tupac more for the gangster shit. Let's be real. Literally, mm-hmm. literally, yes. Literally. You have to hit a hit a reset button. You got to start with that. You got to start with that. You got to denounce them. How you going uh, How you going to start with motherfucking Lil Durk and Chief Keith? Where did they come from? Little N.W.A. Wayne. Tupac. Little you Wayne dumbass Wayne. niggas. Talk about culture. Y'all don't even know what the fuck y'all what the fuck y'all talking about. Culture. That's when you got to start if you want to reset some shit. Nah, that's a, you got to yeah, denounce what them niggas was doing back then. Eminem, all the all that big, oh, he was basically a druggie in his music. Hey, what are you talking you about? To starting, with, start, starting with, starting with, starting with hey. modern modern day drill. No, nigga, like that shit didn't exist back. Then. That's where it came from. Yeah, you got to denounce. You, you got to denounce deep. all of it. Drill started in in Britain. No, that shit started in Iraq. No, sir. Don't even say it started in Iraq. It started in Chicago. <laughs> but, but see, uh, no, I thought it started. I, I, no, it started I, in Chicago. Really? My, my knowledge it's on drill is a little fuzzy. I'll say that. I, could, I thought it. I thought it hopped the pond from the UK to New York because I know New York is no, really cooking right now, man. No, no. You know what I'm saying? That's where the fuck you. That's where the fuck that you gotta start from. Like. I don't, I don't, I don't, I hate, I hate that shit, bro. I hate when you. It's when always them. Oh, you know Kendrick won't. What you say? I say, you know Kendrick ain't going to do that. He a hypocrite. Hypocrite. But see, but see, I would respect him if he did. Because you cannot, right. you cannot say rap today is an issue. When that shit existed back then. The popular, the, the, the shit that was most popular back then was the n- shit. Of course, you had the consciousness, but the shit always prevailed. 
Yo, Gully. So, Gully, what you're saying is Kendrick got to practice what he's preaching. Yes. Mm-hmm. Literally. Literally. Because, Literally. Because if you're talking yeah, about... But, sure. but, 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 yeah, it's true. But, but for real, if, if you're saying you don't like how rap is today, my nigga, your mentor practice was making the same toxic rap that you talking about. His Tupac, favorite rapper, Tupac. Tupac. Making the same toxic rap. Easy E. All the West Coast niggas that you fucking love, nigga. Right. Hey, female rappers. Cause you talking about Easy E. All the niggas. Spice One. Nigga, just keep Spice naming them. Spice Spice one. One. E40 and all Same them. The, the whole damn West Coast, damn near. Yeah, right. All the niggas. Well, who's a positive West Coast rapper? Only person I can think of is Dale the fucking Homo Sapien. Same thing with the female rappers. We gotta go to where that started from. Lil' Kim and all that. Exactly. Story. People just forget Lil' Kim ever existed, bro. This bitch was walking. This bitch was, this bitch was going to shows with her tickets out. What? <laughs> yeah, all this shit that these female rappers do today, that's what we're doing back then. Even Beyonce. Hey, even, even Beyonce was, bro, popping ass. <clears throat> it was even yeah. before. The it was even like before yeah. Beyonce. Shit, sure, it, it goes all the way but, but, back but, but, to like the 70s. Saying, but that's what I'm saying, though. Like, Motherfuckers, these these old heads and these people are <laughs> culture, uh, culture. Y'all cool with sir? Y'all cool with them doing it, but not the news today. I don't like that shit, bro. Well, let, yeah, me this this let me tell this. Yo, Gully, yeah. can I say Hey, folks, so I'm about to Yo, go ahead and head on on that too, y'all. I'll catch y'all later. Yeah. That Kendrick could never pass. Right. You later Kendrick, too, man. man, I feel like that. Right, a, I feel like that was a whole clown and a coward, bro. Yo, Gully. Yo, Gully. Yo, Gully. Yo, how Kendrick gonna talk about the culture if he doesn't even have an impact and he's not even influential? Hell in no, that is the biggest overrated nigga ever, bro. And man, right. his then, music, not, bro. I don't. Then the, Oh. Out of here, bro. And then, he, and then, and then, like somebody just said, he performing at the Super Bowl. The same people you talking about, talking about some. What he say? I'm here to watch the party die. But you're going to what you finna do? You going Why to the is party? He in the world. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, man. This is the dumb as hell, bro. Man, you would have been hey, like, man, man, I... man, hold up. You would have been like, man, fuck the Super Bowl. But no, I'm performing at the Super I was holding that in. I was holding that one. I was, I was, I was holding that in, bro. I ain't even. I wasn't even. Gully, I gotta ask. Gully, I gotta ask. What's your thoughts on? Did you think that Wayne should have played the Super Bowl? Hell yeah, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I think he should. Of course, all of them. So the, not, not even just Wayne. Just New Orleans. Just New Orleans. She was young money. Place. Young money. That, but see, but Ooh. see, that's the thing, man. We ain't, I ain't no holier than thou, nigga. Like, bro, Super Bowl, we lit, Super Bowl party, all that political shit, man. But see, Kendrick, what the, what the fuck are you performing? He the same person that told Drake he want to be, he like, you want to be famous, but you're performing at the Super Bowl. What you it's mean? Just, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Okay. 